Seth Davis for Campus Insiders at the NBA Pre-Draft Combine in Chicago here with uh, Tyler Ennis, a brief stay uh, at Syracuse. It was a fun year that you had as, as a freshman. Uh, I think one of the surprise one and dunners uh, to enter the NBA draft. At what point in the season, Tyler, did it start to occur to you that this might be a legitimate option for you? Um, it was a little bit different. I think through the season, I was trying to stay focused. I mean, uh, you know, I think going, you know, undefeated for so long, getting that kind of attention, I think kind of helped me get recognized on that level. Um, you know, just at the end of the season, I tried to stay focused on on Syracuse and winning games instead of the NBA draft. And and I think the the one time I would say that it kind of hit me was uh, I think we were in a hotel, and we were all you know sitting watching ESPN, and, and they put up a little a draft board on ESPN and. And they're like, oh, so you're going to the Lakers. And, uh, you know, it kind of hit me that, you know, it's, it's going to be a possibility for me and I was going to have to make the decision. Uh, your coach, uh, former coach Jim Beheim, both during the season and after the season, seemed to have a pretty strong opinion, as he usually does, that you should come back. How difficult was it in the end to turn around and tell him that even though you think I should come back, for me, I want to go? Yeah, it was difficult. I mean, not only, you know, for, for a coach and telling coach, but also for myself. I mean, the, the city of Syracuse, got behind me right when I stepped on campus and, and I love being there. I love playing in the dome and, and playing for Coach Beheim. But I think, uh, you know, for myself and, and uh, you know, for my career, I think I'm more um, ready to play in the NBA. And I think, you know, this was the, the good time for me. And I think, um, you know, me and Coach had a good conversation before, um, you know, I, I decided to go. And we had a couple of times where we sat down and, and talked about it. But, you know, I think he understands, you know, my point of view. But I think, uh, you know, as a college coach, it's tough to, to let one of your players go when, when you don't know how the next season's going to go. I'm struck, Tyler, by how many guys in your situation, first rounders, projected lottery picks, have decided not to participate in the basketball activities this week. I would think as a player, you want to be out there and, and show what you can do. And even if you have a bad shooting day, it's not like you're going to drop that much. Why not play? I think uh, a lot has to do with, with our agents, um, you, know, you know, telling us like, they, they know what they're doing and, uh, you know, they, they kind of have a different look than, than we do. As basketball players, you go into the gym, you're going to want to play. And uh, whether that's, you know, uh, good for your stock, bad for your stock. But, I mean, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, for me, you know, I was able to show everything, you know, I need to as a point guard at Syracuse. I think, um, you know, there, there's really nothing for me to gain, you know, going, you know, through these drills. And I think through the combine, I'll be able to surprise some people as well. So, you know, uh, you know I talked with my agent and, and we both thought the best thing for me was to just uh, test and, and go through the workouts. I mean, uh, you know, teams want to see how we compete. And I think, uh, you know, a way to, to see that is, is get us into workouts. So that would be another opportunity. As a professional now and uh, making professional business decisions, <laughs> best of luck this week and in Thank the you. NBA draft. Thank you. Tyler Ennis.